っさっき食べた50年ぐらいなんじゃないつ津波の死つつな津波の前の島まで出てたので津波の死に何回行きたくないかなと思って買い物に行ったとそれが正解だってこ,こういう網やってるんだけどな We were a little bit worried that you know they wouldn't maybe open up because we were strangers. Then there's that language barrier, so we weren't sure how they would respond to us. I knew we had to be very respectful. We couldn't push so much because we thought, why would they want to tell us stories about things that are painful or things that you know they wanted to forget? It's not even the tsunami. No, I didn't think about it. We were just waiting. The tsunami was about 40 minutes long. まあそうしてる間にみんな津波が来るんだったってこう高でさ上がっていったわけねなんかで私は最後までまだいたんだけどね。It wasn't easy at first. I remember being afraid to ask questions about what they experienced during the tsunami because I just didn't want them to feel hurt or to you know to just break down. 一応ねあのあと旦那さんなくして子供なくした人もいるのね。まあそのツイッターではなるだけあの談話室に。よっておじゃっこのねっていう俗に言うねそれでもってまあみんなでその災害の時の,あの話だったりしながらまああとあまり今度はあの亡くなったことに触れないようにしながら。The people there like they really surprised me because they were so open and they were so friendly you know they welcomed us into their home like I thought they would be they would be very reserved very shy very afraid to talk to us but they were actually the complete opposite あのもうあの家ね前にうち津波で流される前に20年ぐらい建てて建ててまずねローンが残っていたんですけどもほらうちはもうないから子供まあ子供のためにもほらね前向いて歩いていこうかなと思ってます、ね。It was so amazing. Um, when we realized that the people we met, every single person that we met wanted to talk about their story. They don't have any form of like barrier, okay, you are Singaporean, I'm Japanese, so we cannot like be together. But they are just very, like they, they treat everyone like part of the community. I saw a little hut, like a memorial. What struck me was this letter on the memorial stone. We asked our translator what, what did it say? And she read it and she, she teared a bit, like she had to wipe a tear away. And then the letter said, um, it has been four years and you have been in university now. I hope you're doing fine, I hope you're, I hope you're happy. I, I couldn't, uh, I just stepped out. After that, I was more determined to tell the story of these survivors, you know, like these families who have been living there since the tsunami and some have lost relatives, some have lost loved ones, but they still press on. They don't like mull over it, they don't uh, throw pity parties from themselves, but they just go forward in life because that's what you do, you know, yeah. <laughs> ここは釜石。It's been a long time. People have moved on, but we just showed that we are still there for them and we are still caring for them. And I think that really. Touch them in some way. Kogane shiro gane, kogane shiro gane, sara sara.
at that time I was sec 3. So my secondary school actually makes us go for flag day every year. Yeah, I remember I went to Clementi with my friends and we were just telling them, OK, so we need, you need to help the people in Japan. I did not expect myself to be there after and seeing the money that I raised to be building nursery schools, um, community centres at Japan. Like, it was really, really unreal. Like, I couldn't believe it. これはですね、シンガハマの町民にですね、遠山保育所のネーミングを募集をしまして、で募集集まった中からライオンパークということがあのシンガポール産からの支援によって出来上がったものですからライオンパークということで命名をさせていただきました。really generic but I really mean it when I say I became more grateful for everything like family and friends and my house and Singapore like we're so protected from these natural disasters so yeah I'm just a lot more grateful for these kind of things.